go for launch. And excellent news. We are go for launch. All systems are go. So let's watch as Falcon 9 carries the Aero C3 payload into space. T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, Ocho, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. one. Ignition and liftoff. We have Falcon 9 and the Aero C3 mission. Vehicles pitching down range. And with the chamber pressure is nominal. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Vandenberg Space Force Base's Space Launch Complex 4 East. Nominal power and telemetry. Carrying the Aero C3 payload. Now during ascent, we do tilt the engines, which is called gimbling, and that turns the rocket horizontally. Vehicle supersonic. And that's what we call a gravity turn. And we are throttling down the engines in preparation for Max Q right now. Max Q. And there we have now passed through max Q or the maximum aerodynamic pressure. It's the largest structural load that the vehicle sees on ascent. The rocket typically needs to go 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to be, in order to avoid being pulled back, back down to earth and get into orbit. So you can keep an eye out on the stage one telemetry. We now have six events coming up here in quick succession. That'll be Miko stage separation, stage one flip, SES one or second stage start engine start one, uh, the boost back burn startup on first stage and fairing separation. And those events are coming up here in just less than 30 seconds. Again, that's Miko or main engine cutoff, stage separation, stage one flip, that MVAC engine will start up on the second stage. And then we will have a boost back burn on the first stage and then shortly followed by a fairing separation on the second stage. Eco. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Stage one boost pack start up. Bearing separation confirmed. And some great views of all of those events. Again, that was Miko's stage separation, stage one flip and boost back burn starting up. SES-1 with that MVAC engine on your right-hand screen lighting up and fairing deploy. Now we are in the boost back burn and this should be ending shortly here. And as you saw on your left-hand screen... Stage 1 boost back shut down. And there's the call out that the boost back burn on the first stage has concluded. And now what you're seeing on your screen is a great view of the MVAC engine on the second stage. Now it is T plus four minutes into launch. And in order to complete today's land landing, the first stage has two more burns left. Next up is the entry burn. And that's where three of the Merlin engines will reignite. And this helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters into the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere.
Now that entry burn. Vehicles on nominal trajectory. Great call outs there. Both vehicles looking nominal. That entry burn that I mentioned is just about a couple minutes away from now for the first stage. Again, we are scheduled to land on land today. So the first stage is doing three burns. That is the boost back burn, entry burn, and then there is a landing burn for that vehicle. Now the first stage does have four hypersonic grid fins that help steer the vehicle during descent. And what you are seeing on your screen is the MVAC engine burning very bright there. The MVAC engine is optimized for the vacuum of space and has about 220,000 pounds of thrust. Very powerful rocket there. We are just about a minute away from the first stage entry burn. As a reminder, this is our 61st and final SpaceX launch of 2022. Stage two is currently carrying the Eros C3 payload. And we are coming up here on that entry burn on the first stage in just a few seconds. Again, that will be three of nine M1D engines reigniting and there you can see it on your left hand screen that those engines have ignited. Stage one entry burn startup. Now this burn is about 20 seconds or so long. Stage one entry burn shut down. And Stage one FTS is saved. As you heard and saw on your left hand screen, those engines have shut down. That concludes the entry burn for the first stage. Coming up next in less than a minute is the landing burn of that first stage. The first stage does have four landing legs stowed at the base of the vehicle and they will deploy just seconds before touching down for landing. And that landing burn is about 30 seconds from now and will be just the center E9 engine. That one single engine has enough thrust to slow the vehicle down to touch down for landing. Stage one transonic. Stage one landing burn. And there we've had the first stage. Stage two stage. FTS is saved. First stage landing burn has begun. Let's watch as Falcon 9 touches down for landing. Landing leg deployed. Stage <laughs> one landing confirmed. Amazing view, Falcon 9 has touched down. This marks our 160th overall successful recovery of an orbital class rocket, including both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy first stage landings. And we are just about a minute away from Sika 1, or second stage engine cutoff 1. That is where we will shut down this MVAC engine that you're seeing ignited at the moment. We will shut that engine down and allow the vehicle to coast with the payload until it reaches its targeted drop-off orbit. Now, just under a minute away from Seco-1 on second stage. As a reminder, the Aero C3 payload is still attached to Falcon 9 second stage. There's just a single engine burn for this mission. So we will have Seco-1. Start the terminal guidance. We will have Seco-1 allow the vehicle to coast and then shortly afterwards, 
will be deployment of the payload. Shut down. 